da 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 ba da 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 ba da da ba da da ba da 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 of course, today it's the old couple sitting on the snow chairs because they've taken our damn benches. For... <laughs> so, it's a late October day here in New York. A lot of air traffic today. Kate and I have talked about a lot of subjects already, including skunks, what we might tell youngsters in their 20s what they might need to know that we could offer them with our life experience would they even listen to us we've we've pondered it all so now what am I thinking about well well I tell you what I'm thinking about and it's not popular. Uh -oh. I'm thinking about Washington, D.C. Oh, let's not go there. I don't know. I, I, I know we shouldn't go there, but I think I need to go there. Oh. I'm just upset with the way things are going. I mean, I'm not blaming any one person or any one political party or anything else. I'm, I, I'm just really upset with the way our country is going. It does, I don't think it needs to go the way it's going. I'm thinking about gas prices. Now, why are gas prices up a dollar from this time last year? Aren't they up more than a dollar? Well, here in New York they are, sure. And in California they certainly are. I've seen news clips from out west where it's $8.50 a gallon for premium. So, I mean, what do you folks out there think? What do, what's going wrong? Why are food prices up? Why is there inflation? It seemed to me like we had everything under control just a year ago. No? Well, you know what I heard on the news the other day, too? Um, rent insecurities now, like there's food insecurities. It's now there's rent insecurities, that the rents have gone up so high um, that people won't be buying things. Yeah. So that's going to make a, you know, have a, rip, a ripple effect, you know, as well. They need to put most of their paycheck to, to their rent. How are you guys surviving out there? Is it is it touching you personally? Is it is it affecting the things that you buy? Is it affecting how many times you go out to eat or go see a movie? I mean, I'm on a fixed income. I'm on Social Security now. I mean, I've got a couple of things going on the side, but gosh, you know, it's it, it really you. Well, it's you, scary. You know, we went out to buy a steak the other day. Oh, but no, the, at Costco, no less. At Costco, no less. How much was that piece of meat you were looking at? Well, I was looking at boneless short ribs, and it was like $45. <sighs> and they're let, now there are less ribs in the packet, and it costs like twice as much. Yeah. It, I didn't buy it. I Not to mention, back. like, lamb has gone up at least 50%. I mean, it's just crazy. And you said turkey went up 20 Turkey 70%. went up 70%. So that you means know, a lot of people may not have a turkey on their table come yeah, Thanksgiving yeah. If, if it's gone up 70%. Folks, I want you to talk back to us. I want to see your comments down below. I really want to get a feeling for what you're feeling out there. So until next time, this is Terry. And Kate. God bless the troops overseas. God bless our police and firemen. EMS. God bless our EMS, EMTs, all of our hospital workers all the people that make this country great. God bless you all. And God bless America. God bless America. We'll see you next time.